Welcome back to 4B. What I've got here is a swing away spare wheel carrier for a Defender 90, 110 or 130. It's from Raptor 4x4, Italian made. And, and what I've got is this big lump of steel here, a big bag of bolts and fittings, and some plates for it to mount to the rear cross member. So let's run through a quick installation. So the first thing I'm gonna need to do is take off this grab handle. So here we've got the bottom mounting plate and the first thing I notice is that these are going to need to come out because they're going to have to go through this plate. So hopefully I've got enough length on these bolts, which I think I do. So let's get those out. So here's the bottom carrier plate and I can see that's going to go on there however we've got that in the way let's have a look let's see what we've got in the way of fixings So let's see what we've got in here. Nice big fat rose joint. And another one. I imagine they're going to be the top and bottom bearings. Another couple of rose joints with an adjuster. bunch of nuts and bolts and it looks like they've supplied us with some spacers for the bottom I imagine what these I imagine that these are, are those that's good because some of the more modern cross members have got the body tabs mounted on the inside whereas the one that I've got is on the outside and there's six of them so I guess you use the spacers in every installation whereas in my case I think I'll only be using five of the spacers because of that tab so let's have a look at that <laughs> this is going to be fun and games getting these in behind here yeah nose pliers leatherman to the rescue <laughs> it might have been a better idea to thread the spaces on first. Oh well, we're doing it now.
Yeah, thread the spacers on first, it'll be easier. The shape of it actually, the shape's pretty perfect. I don't know if you can see here, the way that's cut out, that's nice. And the holes perfectly line up, which is nice. And I like the fact that there's a little reinforcement triangle underneath that, because even though that is some um, probably five mil steel, which would probably take the weight without that, but that's nice, I like that. Let me get these tightened up. And this kit comes with nylock nuts, which is nice. I like nylock nuts. They don't want to vibrate loose, which is always good. So we got an eight mil Allen key and a 17 mil socket on the back. So let's have a look at the top mount. According to the diagram on the instructions, it's centered on the tub capping and it hangs over. This, um, this corner strip is about level with the end of the bracket. So I think what I'm gonna do is just see if I can spot with the drill, spot the hole, and then we'll drill it, we'll put one in, and then we'll do the other side. Unfortunately, these rivets here cause it to skate around a little bit, so it's quite difficult to hold it still. So we'll go easy on it. We've got some extra washers here to space it out over the rivets. <clears throat> I've got the luxury here of being able to take my door off. Gonna eyeball the line for these.
another portion to it which is this and that goes onto a plate onto the back door but I'm not going to put that on yet because my back door isn't hung quite in the right spot so until such time as we get that on I'm just going to put this on here just so I don't lose it and that's that now I think if you were doing this you'd want another set of hands really a bit awkward to do on your own made slightly easier because I was able to take the back door off but if I wasn't able to take the back door off I think you'd need another pair of hands to fit one of these however that said it's nice and sturdy I like the look of it I quite like that little design there and uh, that's going to prevent excessive weight on the back door have it hung on here and that's good so what I might do put a bit of thread lock on these um, these are nylock so they're not going to vibrate loose make sure all my bolts are tight and we're done I think that plastic can stay on for now and I'll get the back door back on so here we have it our Raptor 4x4 swing away defender back door spare wheel carrier and that's lovely I'm really pleased with that I like these rose joints they look nice quality good stiff five millimeter steel reinforced here and little spaces to stand it off they've they've thought about this although I might change these bolts for button heads in the future because I intend to use button heads on most of the back just to make them match um, I'm happy that's nice we've got let's just come around here there's gonna be a plate on here which attaches that little tie rod to the back door um, but I'm not gonna put that on yet because I still need to hang the back door properly and make it all fit nicely so I think I'm gonna leave the plastic on for now and I'm gonna to need to find some wheel nuts to fit on there but you know what that's superb three holes here and a couple of holes on the top there and it fits perfectly around the fog light well, the fog light is still a bit wobbly because it's not wired in yet. But on the instructions, it shows a metal hoop that goes over the top of there with a high lift attached to it, which bolts in to there. So possibly in the future, I haven't decided yet whether or not that's the way I want to go in terms of mounting my high lift, but it looks like you're able to buy a high lift bracket to fit a high lift up the back side of the car so that's nice so a big shout over to the guys at Raptor 4x4 I do like this and it's a, it's a good solution I think for carrying your spare wheel you've got bonnet mounts you've got the roof rack or you've got the back door itself um, obviously looking at the hinges on the back door these rose joints and these big solid folded pieces of what look like five mil steel are going to be far stronger than hanging it just off the back door so I'm pleased we look around here the welds are really nice nice good quality rose joints and uh, once that plate's on, a nice sort of parallelogram action. All good. All good.